Hey, my name is Jordan Edwards, and I serve here at Prestonwood Baptist Church on our young adult staff. And today I want to hit on one of the many names that is given to Jesus. Some of these names we see right here in Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6, it says, For a child will be born for us, a son will be given to us, and the government will be on his shoulders. He will be named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Eternal Father, Prince of Peace. We see four different names listed right here in Isaiah. But the one that I really want to hit on the most is where we see Mighty God. Now, we know that there's one God, and he exists in three persons, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And we know that they are co-eternal. They have always lived together. They have always been here. They were not created. They have always been around with each other. And we know that they are co-equal. One is not greater than the other. And so we see that this verse is not offering us that Jesus is a separate deity from the triune God, but rather we see in this verse that it's offering us some of the attributes of Jesus. This word mighty comes from the word in Hebrew, giver, G-I-B-B-O-R. And this word means strength, power, hero, warrior. So we know that God is the God, we know that Jesus is the God of strength, that there's nothing too big that he can't overcome. We know that Jesus is the God of power, we know that there is no bondage too great that he can't break. God is our hero. Jesus is our hero. He came to save us from our sins. We know that Jesus is our warrior. He is fighting for us. He is advocating for us. And if you are a Christian, this should bring you peace. It should bring you peace to know that the same Savior that holds all these attributes are for you. And because of him, he is now seen in our place when we face judgment. And if you're not a Christian, if your trust is not in Christ, then you might find some of these hints, some of these fragments of these attributes and whatever it is that your trust is in. But it will never be enough to sustain you. But the beauty of the gospel is this, is that Jesus didn't come to condemn us. But he did come to save us. So he offers himself to you. So make that decision of faith today and put your trust in Christ. Let me pray for y'all. Father God, I, I come to you right now, Lord, just thanking you for the opportunity to be able to be with you in communion, God. Lord, that you have made a way for us to be with you, that you have made a way for us to serve with you, that you use us in many different ways to take your message to the world, Lord. So, Lord, that we be confident and bold in you, that when trials come our way, that we lean on your power. When trials come our way, that we lean on you for strength and wisdom and knowledge, Lord. Praise in Jesus' name. Amen.